Hello, thank you for joining me today. We are in beautiful Utah. The Arches National Park uh, Devil's Garden Trail, so it's just a beautiful location. Uh, let's take a few breaths before we get started in our practice today. We're going to begin in wide knee child's pose. <clears throat> so go ahead and bring your knees wide. Bring your arms out in front of you and settle into the pose. This is a nice grounding pose. Gentle hip opener to prepare us for our practice today. We're going to be ho holding these poses for three minutes um, because it is a shorter 30 minute practice. So I'll give you some extra time to meditate.
Okay, slowly come on to all fours. Rotate your hips. Maybe use some cat cows. We're gonna come into a dragonfly pose next. So that's a wide-legged forward fold. So you may wanna sit on the edge of a rolled up blanket block, bolster, whatever will help your hips to rotate forward. And then uh, if your knees or hamstrings uh, are tight, you can put some blocks underneath your knees. And then when you lean forward, I tend to try to keep a straight back because of my uh, sciatica issues. But if you have, if your back's fine, go ahead and relax into the pose and round your back and let gravity bring you down. You can support your head with a bolster, block, your hands, or if you're comfortable, you can just go ahead and let your head hang and let gravity pull, pull you down and get, get a good stretch. Using your hands, slowly push yourself up to a seated position. Bend your knees, maybe do some windshield wipers. Reverse tabletop always feels good. We're gonna come into square pose. So with your shin bones parallel to the front of the mat, cross one leg in front of the other, or if you have more open hips, you can place one leg on top of the other so that your uh, foot is over your knee. Uh, but you know, if you have too big of a gap like I do, put one foot in front of the other. And then go ahead and lean forward in this pose. Uh, if you had a rolled blanket or a block underneath you for the last pose, go ahead and leave that there for this pose to help you lean forward. And of course, you can always use a prop to support your head. It's the most important thing in these poses is to support your body so that you can relax your muscles and really get into the connective tissue.
Slowly using your hands, put your, push yourself up, stretch out your legs, do any movements that would feel good to you right now. And when you're ready, please come to the other side. Slowly pushing yourself up, straighten your legs. Come onto all fours, rotate your hips. Do some nice hip circles, whatever would feel good to your body right now. Maybe some cat cows. We're going to come into Sphinx Pose, so come down onto your belly and bring your elbows underneath your shoulders with your arms out front. You can either stay here or if you like a little bit more, you can put your forearms on blocks to raise up your body a little more. Or if you'd like to raise your legs, uh, leaning them against the walls even better because then they can really relax. That'll give you a more intense back stretch and uh, also for the uh, solar plexus you'll really feel that with your legs up
Okay, slowly <clears throat> lower down. Come on to your hands and knees. Let's come into a child's pose for a moment. Rotate your hips. We're going to come onto our back and we're going to come into a twist. So you can either keep your knees together and rotate them to one side, or you can bring one knee in and rotate it over. Or if you want a more intense stretch, you can have eagle legs. Now try to keep your back, your shoulders on the floor. If your knees come off the floor with your shoulders flat, you can go ahead and stick a blanket or a block underneath your knee to help you relax into this. Okay, let's slowly bring your knees back up into your chest, rolling on your back. Maybe bring them side to side. And then when you're ready, let's come to the other side.
Okay, let's slowly come back onto our back. Bring your knees into your chest. Move side to side. Neutralize that spine. And now come into your most comfortable position for Shavasana. You may want to put a bolster underneath your knees, or if you're a little chilly, you can put a blanket over you. Whatever would make you feel really good right now. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing your awareness back to your body. Slowly start to make small movements. Bring your knees into your chest when you're ready. Rock side to side. Come on to one side and rest there for a moment. And then using your hands and arms, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hands to heart center. Namaste.